Yo, what is up you guys? So I hope you like this new setup I've got going on here because I know I do. So for today's video, we're going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone 10. I did one of these last year. It's actually on my other channel, so I'll leave that linked down below. And you can watch that one before you watch this one. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So this is my iPhone 10 that I got last year. As you can see, I did get a new case for it. It is this kind of purplish iridescent case. I really like it. And on it, you can see I have an Audi sticker. Audi is my favorite car. So unlocking it here, I did get the iOS 12 update, of course. So I'll show you in settings that I am on iOS 12.1.3 beta. I've really been enjoying the iOS 12 update. So first let's go over what's changed on my home screens here. So first of all you can see a clock it used to be where mail was and where clock is now I used to have iMovie actually. And then mail used to just be in my productivity folder um, but I've now moved it down to the bottom. And then I've also put contacts where calculator was right there so I made this new tools folder with the calculator and other things and then the folders that I had in between the third and fourth rows are gone and I've just made a bunch more folders and put those on the second page so actually not a lot has changed since last year um, but I kind of just liked the layout I had going I just improved upon it a little bit so going straight from the top to the bottom I have camera clock notes TV app store maps reminders Safari, Contacts, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. Three most used apps, of course. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, my username is right here, as you can see. And same exact username for Snapchat. Go ahead and add me on here. I love snapping you guys. And then YouTube, you're already watching that. And then I've just got the phone app and settings. On my dock here I have messages, mail, photos, and my little folder here which contains some of my games as well as music. So I just have some random emojis I picked out for the name. And so I have Tiny Tower, Tiny Wings, and Subway Surf. And then of course Apple Music. So here's the tea with Apple Music. So at one point I had a free trial of Apple Music. Actually I've had like three free trials of Apple Music so I don't know how that works. But um, on like, I think September 14th of this year, they were just like, hey, you want another free trial? And I was like, sure, why not? So I actually thought it was three months, but it was only one month. Um, still, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's not the first time I've had it, of course, but Apple Music is definitely something I would pay for if I had that kind of money. I mean, $10 a month is not that much, and I probably could pay for it, but I think there's more important things right now in my life. So I did purchase I think one month after that and then I was just like okay that's enough um, but it is really awesome. The only thing is that um, previously I had all of my iTunes music. Yeah I'm so old fashioned like that and I use iTunes. Um, so I used to just sync this up with iTunes and put my music on that way and once I got Apple Music it kind of like changed some of my songs a little bit. I don't know what it did but like it turned them into the official iTunes version of it. So like some of my songs were like changed to the clean version or random things like that. It was really weird, so I didn't like that. And then once my Apple Music free trial expired, it just got rid of all my music. So I think that's really rude, but whatever. Um, I'll have to redo my iTunes library, but of course there's a lot of new songs and it's gonna take a while. So I just kind of been putting that off. Anyways, enough about that. So I guess you could say these are my three most used games. Um, Tiny Tower, definitely. Tiny Wings, not so much. And Subway Surf, I play that a little bit still. A lot of these apps came out in like 2011, so nobody really plays them anymore, but I still do. And then on the second page, for whatever reason, I just have the tips app. Um, okay, moving on. So I have a bunch of different folders here, um, starting with extras. These are some of the Apple apps that I use a little bit. Um, some of them you can't delete, like health, find my iPhone, but I do use those two occasionally. Um, so I got my calendar, FaceTime, find my iPhone, health, iTunes store, and weather. Next, I have my finance folder. So I have Chase Bank, PayPal, and Wallet. So if you couldn't already tell, all of my apps are arranged alphabetically by row. Um, there's a few exceptions, like my doc does not follow that rule, um, and neither does this folder. But all these folders actually, not just by row, but all the folders together are alphabetical. 
and all the apps inside them are alphabetical. I don't know why I do this, but it's just something I like to do. All right, and then next up is my games folder or games. <laughs> Again, don't know why I do some of these things, but yeah, I have Crossy Road, Dancing Line, Magic Piano, Minecraft, Papa's Scooperia, Pixel Art, Slices, The Sims Freeplay, Word Cookies, Deal or No Deal, Helix Jump, Papa Louie Pals, Rolling Sky, Stack AR, Stick Hero, and Toy Blast. Um, again, a lot of these games are really old. Um, most of them I don't play, there's a few that I do, like Slices. <laughs> So next of all is my other folder. So in here I have Blippar. Um, I don't even know why I have this, but it's just like AR app and it can identify things in the room around you. So of course there's nothing on the table right now, but if I bring in like a MacBook or something and then tap on it, maybe move back a little bit. Sorry about that. All right, so you have to tap and hold on this button. Um, so it should be able to recognize the car too. Yeah, you can see like words popping up all over the place vehicle um machine laptop things like that so pretty random app but still pretty cool don't know why i had that and then is my apple feedback app because i am part of the developers program and then we've got fonto um this is a cool app you can put text on photos and then i have the flurry screensaver which is again a random app but it looks like the Mac screensaver. So if you want that, there it is. <laughs> um, next of all is my photography folder. So I have just two new apps since the last time, I believe. So I have Afterlight, Aviary, Camera Connect, Google Photos, Line Camera, Pick Stitch, Pix Art, Snapseed, VSCO, Huji, Pixlr, Rotate Video Flip, and Split Pick. So the only two new ones are Huji and Video Flip. Um, this one I used to use before last year, uh, but I would only download it if I needed it. Now I just keep it on there all the time. And then Huji, of course, is a cool app. Um, you can make your photos look like they were taken in 1998. So you hold your eye up to this viewfinder here. Maybe it'll work. Okay, there we go. And then you basically have a 1998 disposable camera. So it puts really cool filters on the photos. Um, it's really awesome. And it puts these little glares of light. So yeah, highly recommend that app. Next is my productivity folder. So I have Apple Books, Classroom, Google Docs, Google Drive, Duolingo, Files, and Kahoot. Um, moving on, reference, just one thing in this folder, which is Mac Tracker. Um, this is a great app. It tells you all the specs of every Apple device ever made. So that's a very useful reference for me. And then we have my shopping folder. So I've got two new apps here, I think, um, which is American Eagle and One Ello. Of course, I used those before last year, but, um, well, One Ello at least, but that was only on my iPod Touch. Um, so yeah, got American Eagle, Apple Store, eBay, and One Ello. And then we have just some more random stuff in this folder. So 99.9 The Point is a local radio station I listen to. I've got Bitmoji, Google Cardboard, Cap Paint, Chick-fil-A, which is of course the best app ever. And they're closed on Sundays. Um, so right now I have 124 points, total points earned 624. So I'm almost to my silver status. Which will be good. Then I have Geekbench 4, the um, app for my school and Wattpad. Can't say I've ever gone in that in the last like six months. Um, and then next is my tools folder. So I have calculator, compass, measure, stocks, and voice memos. And then I have GarageBand and iMovie right there. And then just a couple more apps like GroupMe, Student View, which is for checking your grades. Twitter, don't go on that too often, but if you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's the same username as everything else. And YouTube Studio, which allows me to check my analytics that I can't do on the YouTube app. And also, I'm able to edit my video details from there. And then on this last page here, these four apps are temporary actually, so I am going to be buying an iPhone 7 Jet Black. And these are four of the apps that I want to install on that device only. So once I get the device and install these apps, they will be taken off of this phone. But I have Apple Support, Gift, which is a 
gift card app. You can you can put in your plastic gift cards and make them digital. And then I have Musical.ly. I know it's not called that anymore, but I will always call it Musical.ly. Not salty about it. And finally is Tumblr. So there we go. Those are all the apps on my iPhone. Let's look at some other things. So here's my little widgets panel. I don't think it's any different than last year. Just got Siri app suggestions, weather, batteries, Snapchat, and music, which obviously doesn't display anything right now. And then in my wallet, I've actually started using this more recently. Um, so I have my App Store and iTunes gift card. And then I have two of my gift gift cards. I have one for Dairy Queen with $1.22 and a Cinemark gift card with zero dollars and zero cents. So I don't know why I still have that, but okay. Um, then I have an American Eagle coupon that expired July 31st. <laughs> okay. And then I have my Chick-fil-A app with $8.09 and Starbucks card with zero dollars and zero cents. So not really a lot of useful things in there. I don't even have my debit card. However, I do actually use Apple Pay, just not on this device. I use it on my iPhone 6. And the reason for this is because when you have Apple Pay turned on, you can access it from the lock screen by double pressing the side button. However, on the iPhone 10, that results in a delay in the device locking every single time. So if we go to Apple Pay and then double click side button, I'd have to add my card, so I'm not gonna do this right now. But to give you a similar effect, we're gonna go into accessibility and turn on um, shortcut. So as you can see, there's a delay when you press the home button or the side button for it locking. So it would do the same thing if you had Apple Pay turned on, at least the double click the side button um, so you can get to it on your lock screen, which I like to use anyways. So even if I had that turned off, um, I wouldn't want that. So yeah, but on the iPhone 6, these devices with the home button, it's not as big of a deal because there's already a delay when you press the home button um, to get to the passcode screen, so it doesn't really make a difference there. And I mean, Touch ID works most of the time anyways, so yeah. I do bring this device with me everywhere I go. Um, so both these are always with me. So um, when I need to use Apple Pay, I just use this one instead. So it's kind of funny at Chick-fil-A when I'm like pulling up my Chick-fil-A app to scan it and get my points, and then I pull out a different phone for, to pay for it, so it's kind of funny. And looking at my control center, actually nothing's changed in here at all. Um, so I just have flashlight, calculator, stopwatch, camera, wallet, low power mode, notes, screen recording, voice memos, do not disturb while driving, and guided access. So anyways guys, that is pretty much it for what is on my iPhone 10. Um, also just to show you an update on how many photos I have this year, I now have nearly 24,000 photos, plus over a thousand photos in hidden. So almost 25,000 photos, which is absolutely ridiculous. I know it is way too many but I have a problem. So yeah, there is that for you guys. So thank you all so much for watching what is on my iPhone 10. Don't forget to leave this video a like and also subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.